वेलकम फ्रेंड्स आई एम तन्मय एंड वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री द मिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एग्जांपल्स ऑफ मैनिक रिएक्शन दिस इज अ कंटिन्यूएशन लेक्चर इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी अपलोडेड अबाउट बेसिक रिएक्ट मैकेनिज्म बेसिक कांसेप्ट ऑफ दिस मैनिक रिएक्शन सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द एग्जांपल बिफोर गोइंग टू द डिटेल्स आई वांट टू से दैट मैनिक रिएक्शन प्रोड्यूसेस Alpha beta unsaturated compound and where the end of that thing is CH2 and this is the difference between uh, difference between traditional uh, aldol versus this and here we are using a very reactive aldehyde that is a formaldehyde which is often considered as super aldehyde due to its extreme reactivity due to the presence of two hydrogen means very less bulky second no electron donating group is there which makes the carbonyl group highly electron efficient. Consequently, its reactivity is extreme, and in order to control its extreme e electron reactivity, this aldi means secondary amine. You can see two substitutes. Secondary amine is added in presence of acidic condition, which produces iminium. What do I mean? It produces iminium means this N N. This is this is a chloride minus. and this is actually the electrophilic center so throughout this discussion we will see that actually during the reaction condition whatever is written in this formaldehyde this uh, amine hcl methanol reflux it under the reaction involves the use of iminium and it is a more selective and since it is hcl used here so the ketone undergo enolization first and that enol attacks this carbonyl group uh, and produces that intermediate that is beta amino means this intermediate beta amino carbonyl and ultimately means actually initially it is produced as a salt that that is hcl salt after al this alkali treatment this amine is produced and remember this is called manic base okay so this is called manic base and this manic base in the subsequent stage what happens it reacts with methyl iodide why because this nitrogen has lone pair of electrons and this methyl iodide is a very good electrophile and as iodide is a good leaving group and very less bulkiness bulkiness on this methyl center so this attacks and ultimately this produces this produces this quaternary ammonium iodide salt and this quaternary ammonium iodide salt right now you can see this is a good leaving group previously amine is not a good leaving group but this is now a good leaving group as the leaving group is the, for example here if you consider that is diethyl methyl amine and what happens this proton is actually obstructed by the presence of base how why this is happen because you can see this is alpha carbo alpha proton of the carbonyl group so it due to the withdrawing effect this proton is sufficiently acidic pk around roughly gets around 20 21 like that so this is and second part the produced anion is resonance stabilized by this carbonyl group so that is the reason this produces this hydrogen leaves and it produces anion that produces that attacks and it should to undergo mainly through e2 elimination process very substrate to substrate this thing happen and what it produces this is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound okay so for this case you can consider this is mvk methyl vinyl ketone this is a very good michael acceptor we will discuss this michael reaction subsequent stage so this is alpha beta acetyl carbonyl produced okay so first example we have discussed let's go to the second example as we told that this carbonyl so it is generally expected that okay since carbonyl is discussed what type of carbonyl it is this if this carbonyl is not symmetrically substituted what do i mean the attached alkyl group attached means if it is ketone aldehyde okay that's a difference i agree but if it is a not and it is asymmetrical ketone for example this here this is less bulky here this so what will be the product now question if you think this question you keep it in mind as i told the reaction is like a acid catalyzed aldol condensation that type you can consider for your understanding so it is expected and this reaction undergo through enol so it is expected in acidic medium this undergo enolization and this enol will produce as this more substituted enol is more stable because this enolization means enol means enol if you consider that is this enol is this so that's right this is more stable and this react with this attacks this center 
and in this way reaction process I have explained. So ultimately this is and this is two manic base formation possible and it is observed that this is produced 70 percent this is 30 percent. This observation clearly confirms that the reaction follows the strategy like acid catalyzed melanoma. So keep this thing in mind this question such type of question will be given to you that what will be the major product of this reaction. Okay. So now we now we will discuss a tricky problem. Means why? Okay. Before going to that, so just previously we have discussed about that ketone thing. If it is a methyl pyridine and if reaction would be given in this way, so don't get confused. First of all, you should write this in this way. So this is this is a triple the three double bond and it has another canonical form why I have written this because in this way also question would be given but if you have very good understanding about the basic chemistry we will do not do the mistake so you can see this part this part you can consider as a carbonyl means ketone type derivative and consequently if the same condition is applied the reaction happens here and what is produced in this reaction this is so here another carbon will be attached and this so this so actually this reaction this reaction is a strategy to produce one three substituted okay what do i mean one three substituted for example previous reaction we have seen that this is produced so sorry not this nh2 this r so this is produced and if this in this reagent is reduced in presence of reduced reducing agent like lithium, aluminium hydride, sodium borohydride, those things, what it produces? This is reduced and it produces this alcohol. So ultimately you can see this one, two, three means amino alcohol could be prepared. In previous uh, video, I have made a in previous lecture I have made a video about this Henry reaction or nitro reaction where the ultimate product is a 1, 2 di ultimate that 1, 2 carbonyl and nitro if both is reduced then it will produce 1, 2 means what I mean this is so in this way if you can see this 1, 2 relation here this is 1, 3 relation here so 1, 2 amino alcohol derivative could be prepared through Henry reaction this would be using this many reaction okay so okay fine now this example is little tricky the exam this uh, this fourth example why because you can see it's a relatively complicated molecule but whenever this condition this aldehyde uh, secondary amine and in presence of acid is given you should keep it in mind it's a manic reaction and another thing formaldehyde will react with this amine in presence of acid and produce this electrophile okay so it produces and secondly you have to find out what is the functional group see this is a lactone and another thing this is a carboxylic acid and with respect to carboxylic is alpha position this is also alpha position means it's an active methylene derivative so this proton is sufficiently acidic and another thing it's true and easy to analyze so ultimately analyzation will happen at this position okay so we can think that this undergo analyzation to produce this okay so now this is good yeah good electrophile uh, this is this is a good nucleophile reagent means it, it it is a nucleophile so it will attack this and ultimately if it attacks here what it will produce i am not writing this substitution let's consider this as r so this will means this bond we can say push and it will attack so ultimately it will produce this is the keto this is the carboxyl group and here it is CH2 in this dialkylation and another thing after this work up in presence means since you can see sodium acid acetic acid it's an acidic medium so it is expected that it will remain as this fine agreed no problem so this is and right now this is in cationic stage so what will happen this is actually co2 elimination will happen how this will happen so if you look at this properly this is co2 and this is actually a decarboxylative elimination remember this thing decarboxylative elimination why this is 
interesting because in case of normal elimination you need to first abstract a proton but you can see here no as basic condition is given acetic acid sodium acetate this is a buffer slightly acidic so what happens and another thing there is no hydrogen which can undergo elimination but this can undergo decarboxylation this will push and this will push here it will leave means here a carbon ion tape generated means actually the reaction is a in situ thing so this and second this nitrogen is in quaternary nitrogen so you can see right actually it's right now it is a protonated one so cationic species not it's right now good living group but if we consider simple amine simple amine is not a good living group but in acidic medium it undergo protonation and this quaternary leaves and ultimately here double bond is produced what do i mean this is produced okay so this is a tricky example i believe so if this example is given keep this factor in mind that is decarboxylated elimination in presence of active methylene group and active methylene group also behaves similarly like uh, carbonyl group and the, in that case enolization is easier as the mm, carbonyl that alpha carbon is in between the two carbon okay so let's discuss another previously i always told that secondary amine is essential because of this but this reaction could be done in presence of primary amine also so this example will explain that factor in details so how this previously everywhere we are getting this uh, secondary amine and how this reaction is happening in presence of primary amine here the reason is the reason reason is here you can see two active methylene i have explained this factor in previously so this decarboxylation using this so you can see this means uh, this is a act, two active methylene is present so first of all when if let's consider this part is absent don't think let's discuss about one part so if this reaction happened at this side what it will produce its ethyl and this is co2 me and here you know will be generated this position what do i mean means like this oh and this enol if reacts with this as i explained in previous uh, examples also it will produce this nh so fine and uh, this is acidic medium so this so one hydrogen will be there as i have taken methyl amine that's a primary amine so this is right now you can see this is actually a secondary amine this is in situ secondary amine is produced so we now we will focus on this part so similarly this is, here is one another alpha hydrogen this is secondary amine and when such type of thing is given you should also remember one factor that is that what is the number of means what is the ring member for example if we count from here one this nitrogen will this thing will produce that ammonium thing so and so here you can see one two three four five but here one twist always this prepared the electrophilic reagent so electrophilic reagent will be produced from here what do i mean this is ch2 so this is actually the electrophile so why i have uh, checked then initially how many distance position of this versus this one five and if this is produced a ring it will be one six and see in example it is given as a one six so such type of exam question may came and in uh, uh, this answer could be given one of the four mcq so for that case this is very essential very good so now this reaction will happen as we know that first enol will be generated here simply and this this enol will attack this electrophilic carbon and ultimately it produce a six member ring here now you can see reaction is stopped here in previous cases we have prepared this uh, double bond but here this not that thing is not done and if we want to do that that's a different thing but here this product reaction will stop at this stage so what is the purpose of this given that reaction could be done using this secondary amine provided two center is given okay oh okay, fine and the uh, the last example of this discussion this example is little bit uh, different why i am saying different because here the reactant is different this is actually a benz means pyrrole attached to benzene okay so in presence of this the condition is same like production this and we know that if we compare this versus this reaction is more this ring is electron rich so reaction will happen here 
and actually here actually we have this we have this electrophile so this aromatic electrophilic substitution will happen and ultimately what it will produce it will produce this ch2 in this okay and since the reaction is under acidic condition so this and actually here it is produced so this is plus and this is hydrogen in second step uh, solvent molecules will abstract means in case of this here alkali is given so this base will abstract this proton it will come here it will come so in this way aromaticity will be uh, regained and it will produce this so not a, so purpose of the problem is that to give you an idea that aromatic electrophilic substitution could also be done in presence of like this manic reaction condition and in fact in reality not only this if you take under similar condition beta naphthol so we what we know that aromatic electrophilic substitution on beta naphthol happens on this position and in presence of this uh, electrophile actually this happened it produces ch2 nh2 so this reaction is a very good strategy to introduce this ch2 nh2 functionality with uh, attached to this ring and oxygen and this nitrogen is so not ch2 nh2 this substituted so it is a 1 3 substituted strategy so i guess you have understood a lot about this uh, manic reaction with this example so this is the end of the discussion if you like my teaching please give a like uh, share this video among your friends so that many people will be benefited from my effort and finally subscribe my channel chemistry and history of molecule and please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video i upload so till now stay happy stay blessed study well let's see you in the next video